Hey guys, this is V Man from No Budget Productions, and with me today is Sean. How are we doing, man? Doing fantastic. How about you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, besides the dogs eating my wife's uh, shoe again, you know, um, it is quite unfortunate hearing that, uh, like a two hundred dollar <laughs> pair of shoes or, or whatever it yeah. was. So, yeah. yeah. Twice now. That's uh, twice. Yeah, it. Uh, you know, I am, I am a glow, <laughs> all a glow. You know, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, outside that, I am in. I am in pretty good spirits, man. Um, That's good. You know, uh, so. Uh, but that being said, um, so this is. Uh, you just came out with a a, a film. You, you were you and Lexa. Yeah. Uh, just came out with a, a, a film, um, and it was it was kind of a to me it was it was wonderful to get the star finally, uh, you know, counterpoint to 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 Alexa. Um, what what was uh what was her thoughts on the film finally seeing it uh come out? Well, she uh. Well, I, I was trying to, I was genuinely trying to show her the premiere and I was like, hey, everyone really, really, really likes it. She was hiding in the bathroom over there going, turn it off. I don't want to see it. It's embarrassing. And uh, like, I, I understand it because I was very much the same way when I started acting. But I've uh, like, as because I've been doing YouTube for uh, like close to a decade now. So I've kind of hit a point where I'm like, if I see myself on camera, it's no big deal. But for someone who's, who's newer to it, it's... Uh, <laughs> I totally get that, but uh, I, I know she really appreciates everyone's support of the film, uh, and she she really appreciates all the the nice words that everyone has said. So, it, and I I very much appreciate it too. So, thank you to the community. You guys rock. Um, yeah, it, it was it was great to see her. Well, I gotta say, uh, oh, first off, Richard Roberto, uh, the artist, he says, "Hey, Vance. Hey, Sean." I can't wait to see your work, Richard. I am really, really looking forward to this. How are we doing, Richard? Welcome, welcome to the chat. Um, well, I got to say, um, <clears throat> it, it's a, it was a pleasure to uh, to work with her. Um, you know, before I before I finally take my bow out of fan films, it it is a pleasure to. Uh, she's one of the few people who I I really admire her work. You know, your guys' films. I forget who. I forget who it was that said, um, and it, it's it's one of the comments on uh, on on the film. They said every time you and her pop up, like the films always kind of seem to change direction, and and I agree with that. Um, and and it's 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 meant in a good way, uh, and I and I and I like that because it kind of it kind of shows. Uh, you know, kind of a change of direction, you know, because my my films always kind of tend to be kind of kind of you know a little darker, a little more brooding. Um, but you, you th there's a way that you write that that's very, you know, sarcastic, um, a little bit more jovial, you know, and it's it's very reflective of who you are as a person, and I and I fucking love it. I, I dig that, you know, um, and I I think. Um, you know, when you, you and her are on screen together, you know, even, even though the scene that I wrote is, um, you know, very, you know, it, it's, it's different, you know, the chemistry that you guys have, you know, it's, it's very reflective, um, of who you guys are. Um, but to see that chemistry, um, you know, I, I, I really dig it. And, uh, but she's one of the few people that I get to work with, uh, you know, that I haven't. So I, I really appreciate that. And uh, you uh, being the captain of the, the Constar B, um, you know, it, it's it's one of those things where it's like, I know that the the, the future of, of the fan films is uh, in good hands, you know. Um, it's, it's nice to see that, uh, you know, fan films is going, um, you know, in in a, a, a happier direction, you know, rather than, you know, the $200,000 budgets, you know, you can still tell a good story on, you know, eh, it doesn't matter if we have, you know, the, the smaller, 
you know, look at my bookcase in the background, you know, type budget, you know, like that's exactly. Yeah. You and know. it's, um, yeah, it, I, well, I mean, it, happier direction. You, you don't want to see what I have planned for Tesla and Sanders, uh, next. I, I still don't know if I'm going to do the, um, I'm still trying to work out, uh, how to do the next film. I'm kind of approaching it as like, um, because I've I've created two uh, standalone films and now it's kind of like oh I need to, I need to make a trilogy like it's it has to be like a trilogy of uh, solo films so I'm but right now uh, we're we're kind of um, taking a bit of a because Try Honesty really um, exhausted us um, right it, and it doesn't look like it because it uh, it was very very low budget and uh, like it, it was very very intimate but a lot of a lot of behind the scenes stuff happened. So we're, we're taking some time to, uh, you know, make sure, uh, make sure she's okay. She, she has like some, some health issues right now and, uh, make sure, uh, she starts her new job. I'm getting a promotion. And so it's, uh, but I definitely want to, um, I definitely have some things planned for Sanders and Tesla, uh, down the line. Um, and it's, uh, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's, it's going to be tragic. So, well, that's the thing about, you know, the, the fan films, you know, I, <clears throat> some people put these up on a pedestal and, and think that, you know, Oh, these, these are, these are the priority of life, but you know, these are at the end of the day, these are still just a hobby. You know, it's, it's supposed to be something to do when, you know, eh, let, let's go shoot this. This is, you know, this is supposed to be fun. You know, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, you know, this is no different than, and eh, let me crack out the, the, the drawing book and draw, or let's go, you know, let, let's, let's throw the ball around a little bit. You know, this is, you know, it's, it's a hobby that we take seriously because of course you're spending time doing something, but at the end of the day, it's still just a hobby, you know? Um, and in real life, man, it's, you know, with, with, you know, you know, everyone has, you know, either a health issue or, especially with with covid that's gone on it's like man the real world's kicked our a lot of our asses you know it has it um, really has if you don't take a step back and 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 assess yourself you know it's easy to get burnt out and you know at that point what what's the point of the whole thing you know so i i i commend you both for for taking the time to uh you know get your mental health <laughs> focused on you know um, cause a lot of people try to push through it and then, you know, what's, what's the fucking point, you know, um, that that's and, no good. And yeah, so. that's, that's pretty much what happened with, uh, with try honesty. Cause it was, it was very much like, um, you know, at the start it was like, I have this awesome script and I, like, I, we, we got to do it. Like it's, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm in love with how I, how I wrote it and she really liked it too. And then months down the line, it was like, oh, fuck, we gotta, we gotta do try honesty. Like we gotta film it now. We'll, we, we got stuff and it just kept, so it, um, yeah, it's really a matter of, uh, trying to take a step back, find the, the love for that sort of thing again. And then we're, yeah. we're working on some other projects for the, uh, the Calgary International Film Festival pretty soon. So it's, um, so yeah, oh, wow. that, that's exciting. So, wow. Well, let's take a look here. Let's at, do it. Uh, and uh, forgive me if my like I I I drank my soda and my my the bubbles like went right up my nose uh, like <laughs> so like my like I felt like my eyes like get like fucking red I I feel like a, a, a like wow so oh. <laughs> okay so here there we go okay I feel better now I, I feel like one of those like drug addicts that are like you know like oh. oh let me, Okay, they're not any more red than my eyes. So <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's funny because, like, when we watch the video here, like your your glasses are mentioned. Like, it's it's one of your greatest. Like, it's it's one of the things when when you first started doing the the fan films. It's like people were like, "Why is he wearing the glass?" But now it's like one of your like it, you're associated with it. Like it's it's like your Jordy LaForge visor. You know, it's like it's cool, man. It's cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I try and make the, the best of it. So it's uh, like it's it's a medical condition and whatnot. But I, I really try and uh, I want to integrate it with with Sanders. So it's uh, I, I'd say him him with the glasses and the chair. It really 
Salsa. Dude, and, dude, and it's it's funny because like in the in the one fan film that that you have that's coming up, um, where you're on the the bridge talking to Lobato, like you you've got you're on the bridge of the Constar B, and like we've got the aliens in the background, you know. Uh, and you've got your fucking chair. <laughs> it's, it's like I can totally envision that. Like Sanders stepping on the bridge, everyone's like introducing themselves, and he's like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait! No, rip that out! No, here, yeah." Put, you're dragging. You're I dragging your, it there. Just, you're dragging your chair, like just scooting it across the bridge. <laughs> he, he takes it everywhere with him. Like I'm sure he takes it on away missions. Like it's like he has to bring the chair. So. It's like it's like it's like on your satchel. Like <laughs> exactly. I, I, I just imagine it's like instead of like Michael Burnham and and, and Giorgio at the beginning of Discovery, where they're walking across the desert, it's you in that fucking chair. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what makes the Delta signal in the sand. It's you yeah, in you just chair. see the sunrise, and then you see a silhouette of uh, Sanders walking across with just dragging this chair with them. <laughs> We need to. I need to Photoshop that. Like that. Yes. That's gonna be like. That's gonna be the Constar V. Like fucking. You know. Uh, poster is you in the fucking chair. So okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. You coming in, son? Come on in. Push hard. Jump against the door. Jump against the door. No, it's not latched. Hold up. It's not latched. Come on. No, I don't want to bring this in. You ate all your peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah. All right, was it good? Yeah. yeah. You going to play with your cars? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can do that, but be quiet. We're we're doing our video, okay, buddy? Okay. All right. Okay, so here is the painting that Richard did for you. And three, two, one, and Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy smokes. That is that's incredible. Thank you so much. That's Oh, that is so cool. I love it. Now, one of the things, um, like with, with all the other paintings, um, I I will need your address because in about maybe two months, I think, two or maybe three months, uh, once the paint has time to kind of set um, mm -hmm. and it's completely dry, <coughs> you will be getting the full-size painting sent to your home. So, awesome. um, you will get, you will get the painting, uh, in, in all its glory to put up in your house. Wicked. So, that, that's amazing. Thank you so much. That is, that is really cool. I, I really dig it. So you are, you are one of the few people, like, like I said before to, to, to people like, you know, it, it's, it's one thing for, you know, William Shatner to get painted or, or Patrick Stewart, you know, but, but what does it feel like to be, you know, one of the few people, like especially fan film captains, to to be painted? What what does it feel like, man? It's it's a huge honor. Like it really, um, it, it's crazy how much can happen in you know a, a few years. Like just posting a simple uh, photo of you in a in a captain's uniform uh, in a Star Trek uniform on a, a Facebook group that you just happen to join on a whim and then next thing you know stuff like this is happening it's it really it humbles me and it makes me very very you know appreciative of the uh the community so it's like again thank you guys so much for the support uh yeah you, you guys absolutely rock and you are killing it with uh with the support so again not, like i i can't say it enough thank you so so much I I really feel like he's captured your your personality. Um, I think so too. <laughs> like you 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 have in in your like I love the hair. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> like, like he he did a great job with the hair. Like the hair is uh, 
well at least while it's still here like uh but uh yeah like it's uh the the hair is definitely a, a tricky thing it's a tricky thing for me to style and let alone paint so it's yeah i i really like it i i like the um yeah like the the lines on the the neck too like it the the creases on the forehead like he's got some great detail going on there it is yeah. phenomenal like you you have you you have when when i wrote the character of sanders um mm -hmm. you know of course you started off as kind of a, a a villain for for menard you know but not just a villain somebody who is you know very complex but he had that motivation for you know why he was the way he was and, and the character you know evolved you know over uh you know the several films that he was in to at the at the very end of what was supposed to be the you know the character's arc you know he was on the good guy side you know mm -hmm. um and that was supposed to be kind of it but then you know being the captain of the constart b you know and continuing that journey you know it's it, it's one of those things where you know you've you've certainly made the character your own <clears throat> and i think your personality uh you know early on showed through and that was one of the reasons why i really wanted to continue writing for that character is because you, you made it very easy especially seeing how you know from from the way i wrote from the way you acted it was like man this guy is very easy to write for um because you you just brought those lines to life and and looking at this painting um he really he, that personality really shines through for you know the sarcasm the kind of cockiness to me it it almost reminds me of like you you i think sanders almost fits in that top gun <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, you know i i could almost hear that highway to the danger zone uh theme song coming in for sanders you know uh but uh you know your personality you know San, San, I, when i see this i don't see you chris i see I, I really do see Sanders, mm -hmm. um, the, the captain. Um, and that's one of the beauty about the, the paintings um, and, and a lot of the, the, the fan films that we've done is when you stop seeing the actor and you, you really do start seeing the character, um, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, that's, that's what this painting's done. I, I, don't, I don't see you, Sean. I see, I see Chris Sanders, the, the captain. Is, is that, is that, that happen to you absolutely like i i without a doubt like i i see i see the darkness in sanders and i also see the the light and it's uh it really really captures um every element of his character every um every insult every belittlement every um quiet moment every like it, it really captures what I would say the inner monologue of Chris Sanders in in one snapshot in one brush brush stroke I would say so it's uh yeah I I'm beyond words like I th this is so so cool I can't wait to to put it up uh, on the wall I like I I I feel like I'm gonna be egocentric putting a painting of me on the wall but who <laughs> who gives a care you know it's you could, um, it's going to be like that William Defoe painting where he's sitting there and there's that painting of him. You know, that, that's totally what I'm going to do. I'm going to make that into a, a meme once I once I get it. I'm going to do the, the exact same thing. I'm going to do it in the chair. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be great. I I can't wait. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's um let's go to let's see here. Um, let's go to where is it at here? Okay, so here we're gonna watch the the time lapse video. It's about it's about a little over three minutes, about three and a half minutes. I didn't um, know there was I, a time lapse video. That's so cool. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, now we won't be able to talk during it. Um, they won't okay. be able to hear you or me. Um, it'll just be his uh, uh, voice. Um, but afterwards, once it's done, then it'll go back to how it is right now, and, and we'll be able to discuss um, what his thoughts were. So it'll be going on in about three two one and welcome to my channel this is another time-lapse video of vanilla prima portrait this is of uh sean raymer who plays captain chris sanders of the uss constar b uh, this character shows up in quite a few films and it's always kind of an interesting character for me um there's a lot of cameos um 
there's a lot of uh, sort of uh, psychological kind of character acting. Uh, it's a really interesting pose. Sean has this really cool hair thing going on. Um, I like these really cool red glasses, which were actually a lot of fun to paint. Uh, and you can see me here working with the angle of the tilt of the head. And this is a sort of three quarter view with the head tilted slightly down. Um, so I'm drawing in some extra lines. You see me making some marks that are uh, indicating the side plane of the head. Um, I'm now going ahead and filling in the background. This is quite an intensely bright background um, on the photo, and I tried to match it as best I could uh, just to have the, um, the same kind of contrast when I'm sort of flicking my eyes back and forth. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing the right things. Uh, so what I'm working on, obviously, is the darkest starks first. These are marks that I really have the most confidence in. Uh, and then I try to lay in some things that I think are going to just be easy. Uh, and I thought that the, the glasses would be kind of easy to do because they're sort of an artificial color. So it's, you know, less um, problematic in trying to make it look organic because it's not organic. Uh, and then working from dark to light. Uh, I'm working on the shadow side of the face, which isn't terribly dark, but it is shadow. Uh, and then winding up, uh, working pretty quickly on the lit side of the face. There's a lot of light here, so there's not a ton of shadow. And the lit side of the face is, is uh, quite high in value. Um, so trying to get structure here is a little bit challenging. It's a lot of subtlety. Um, there's things I didn't bother to paint at all, things around the nose where... Uh, they weren't obvious um, from a distance, and I decided not to try to overpaint them and overexplain that. Um, I felt like if I uh, tried to put too much detail there when I really couldn't see it from standing back, then it wouldn't have, uh, uh, it just wouldn't read properly. Um, I'm now filling in some of the hair, uh, and I'll, I'll go back and tweak some of this. Um, I'm now working on the mouth, and I really didn't paint lips at all. I painted some of the shadows and highlights around the lips, and I just kind of let the rest go because it just didn't need it, and I didn't want to, again, didn't want to wind up over-explaining. Uh, and you can see here I'm putting in the shirt, and the shirt is a lot less intense than what's on the photo. It's, it's more muted red, and I kind of felt like it worked better with the glasses the way I painted them. Uh, and this is the final portrait, and I hope Sean likes it. If you like this video, please click the like button, and please subscribe and set your notifications. I am on the internet at robertosuzuki.art, at Instagram at roberto underscore suzuki underscore art, and at Facebook at fb.com slash robertosuzukiart. Thank you. So, what were your thoughts on uh, on seeing the speed run, man? I I was getting like honestly like really really giddy and emotional. Like I was like that that is so so cool to see me um, like built up. Like uh, it, I'm I'm speechless. Like Roberto, thank you so so much. That is like your work is outstanding. Like it. it the, the time lapse I I'm gonna be watching that over and over again because that is that is so so cool so well he does he does have that over uh he does have that over on his channel uh um, perfect do you have do you have Instagram or or yeah I do yeah he has he, yeah go check out like like he has the the link on his Instagram and uh he he has uh Richard do you uh if you're still in the chat um <clears throat> put Put the uh, if you have if you can find that link um, to uh, the Instagram, either the picture uh, for um, uh, Sean's uh, picture, if you could put that in the chat, or the um, if you put the video on your Instagram, um, either either one, um, if you could put that in in, in the chat, I'd appreciate that. Um, but uh, or or just put your Instagram in the chat. Um, so, so Sean can go subscribe to it or anybody in the chat can subscribe to it. Um, but anybody, uh, if you guys have Instagram, go, go check out Richard, uh, Roberto's, uh, Instagram. Um, cause that, that's one of the things that, you know, us as artists, you know, we don't, 
we don't get paid for the stuff we do. We don't, um, you know, or at least a lot of the times we don't, um, you know, a lot of the times, you know, following us on, on our social media stuff, you know, and, and, you know, giving a, a comment or a like or something like that is, is the way we, you know, continue on, <laughs> you know, it was staying encouraged is, is the way we, you know, that that's our bread and butter a lot of times, you know, yeah. um, but, you know, yeah, if you have an Instagram, uh, Sean, he's posted a lot of the, the, the reveals, you know, uh, <laughs> these reveals that I'm doing is just more of a, a, a formality, uh, you know, the, the other captain reveals are, are on there, uh, between you and me. Um, but, uh, so you, 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 <laughs> you enjoyed that, uh, the video, huh? Very much so. Like I'm definitely checking out the, his, his Instagram, you're getting a follow, um, and I'm I'm sharing, I'm I'm gonna be sure to share all of your all of your work because, my goodness, it is, um, like for for you to do this, uh, like not just for me but for for all the 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 crew is um, it, it's incredible. So, uh, pe people like you keep us going, and uh, we're we're gonna make sure that uh, we, uh, you know, we we thank you and we we push your work forward and uh really showcase it and uh you know pair dues for uh for something as extraordinary as this so yeah that was a, that was the thing with the uh like when you know with the documentary that's coming out um for those of you that don't know um i'm going to be doing the there, there's a concert documentary that, that's coming out uh july 3rd um it'll be coming out at noon um, so for those of you that don't know, um, it, it's a four hour documentary. It's, it's long. <laughs> don't, don't feel the need to watch it in one setting if you haven't. Um, but, uh, I, I really wanted to, to put, um, I felt that chronicling, chronic, oh my God, I can't say that word. Chronically? Bless your heart. <laughs> um, you know, I, I felt that you couldn't put, um, you know what was what was the point of, of of talking about the entire journey of the constar without um you know mentioning you know uh richard's work or at least sh showing you know what i had up to that point because i think there was a few pieces that i didn't have um you know that we didn't include you know because by the time we were editing it you know we i think there was like maybe two or three pieces that i didn't have um but you know what i had made it into the documentary um because it was just like you know it's it's such beautiful stuff you know it's it's got to be in there you know um because again i'm one i'm a fan of his work <clears throat> yeah richard says the documentary is long but it's worth it yeah he's he's one of the few people that has seen an early copy of it um you know it's it, it's one of those things where it's like you know one of the reasons why i do the reveals is because it it's, it's one of the things of who who gets painted you know we are very fortunate to have someone like richard paint us you know um it, it's it, it to me it's like i i feel like a celebrity because it's like somebody that talented wants to paint me <laughs> you know you like who gets that you know, like I making a documentary, I was like, I've got to put this guy's work in here. Like this is, you know, it, 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 I, I, of course, have it on my wall. You know, I for those of you that don't know, I have the first six right there of the captain's batch. I haven't put the other ones up just yet because I don't have uh, the frame spot yet for uh, the ones that I'm printing out to put up there. Um, but to me, it's like man, to put it in the documentary so that it's perfectly out there, you know, and, and put on film, you know, it's like, this guy's work is so beautiful, you know, like, it is, it really is. And it's uh, like, it definitely has to be part of the documentary because he, he is absolutely a part of this community, just like, yeah. uh, like everyone else. And he, he really pushes this community forward. Um, yeah. And it, it's an absolute, um, it's an absolute gift. And I will always, uh, always cherish it because it, you know, it, it is coming coming to an end soon, and it's um, well moving on to the the next chapter, whatever that may bring. So it's uh, definitely t 
taking advantage of uh, of, of how, the generosity and uh, um, and the beauty of something like this. So, well, I will be uh, once we're off. Um, everybody, give me a, a few minutes in the chat, and I will put uh, um, the uh, Instagram or Facebook. Uh, one of the one of the links. Um, I, I will I will put a way to reach out to Richard uh, in the uh, uh, description so that you can reach out to Richard um, and 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 see his fine work. Um, and then uh, to you, Sean, I'll send you a copy of the picture uh, in Messenger so that you have a copy that you can post, you know, wherever you want, or just have it for yourself. Um, and like I said, in about maybe two or three months, like once the picture is set. Um, you'll be getting a copy. I'll, I'll need your address so that he can send it to you. Um, Perfect. But um, I'm really glad you like it. Um, I mean, like I said, this guy, <laughs> he is he is such a talent. Um, and I, I love the guy to death, man, because, you know, he, he doesn't have to do any of this stuff. And he, he chooses to do it um, with us. And, you know, he's he's just as valid a part of the community as, as you and I are, you know. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I thank him for it. He's He's awesome you know so he is he is absolutely thunderful in every sense of the word so yeah so with that being said i want to say uh sean thank you uh, as always for uh you know one being the cool dude you are and uh <laughs> you know you know being the the captain of the constar b and being a good friend of mine um you know you and uh uh lexa um i want you guys to to stay safe um absolutely and, uh, um, you know, I, I, I am a fan of your guys' work, um, you know, but, uh, you know, mental health and physical health, uh, come first, you know, especially in the crazy world that we live in today. Um, but I look forward to seeing what you guys have. Uh, you want to say hi, Royce? Hi. He's got his hey, Dr. Who hat on. He's got, oh, he's, yeah? got his, he's got his fez on. That is awesome. I love the fez. <laughs> it so cool. <laughs> I do look silly, don't I? You're up there and you're being silly up there. Yeah, that's my that's my fan that's my red and red and blue versus green and blue. Yep. Okay, buddy. <laughs> so all right guys, everybody in the chat, uh, I want to say thank you for, for joining us. Oh, Daniel Vance just joined us. He says, Sorry I'm late. Cheers, everyone. What's up, Daniel Vance? Thanks, Daniel. Hi. Um, Richard says the Fez is cool. Um, so, all right, guys. Uh, Sean, thank you for joining us. Everyone in the thank chat. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. Uh, everyone in the chat. Thank Do you I for... look silly? Yes, you look super cool, buddy. If I can see. Okay. <laughs> we just got to get you a bow tie. That's what we got to do. <laughs> Don't encourage him. He's already got like every sonic screwdriver. You know, I've passed oh, them too. down. You know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> all right buddy all right and everybody in the chat be genuine be safe and keep on geeking on guys Look at this, Dad.